Okay, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the yard. This is my worm bin. I got three uh, bins full of worms. As you can see, I compost. This is Dora. Hey, Dora. How you doing, baby? And let's see. That's a baby bottle brush tree. This is my beautiful bottle brush tree. It's not really in bloom. It just got finished raining, so that means it will soon be in bloom. This is a cherry tree. My frangy pangy. Uh, I gotta plant some more sunflower seeds in here. These are my herbs and a bunch of weeds that I have to get out here and weed whack. That's Max. Hi, Max. Hi, baby. This is the canal behind my house. It goes nowhere, absolutely nowhere. It just fills up with water. Um, it, you would never know that like less than two weeks ago it was bone dry. This is another compost bin I have right here. And this is under my bottle brush tree as you can hear my uh, wind chimes just going on and on and on. I got a couple of stag horns and a couple of elk horns. I got over there on the little plant stand I got uh, that's mint and I got another mint like at the bottom of that frangy pangy hi Dora I got some orchids these are my banana trees that I really need to work my way through this is like an all-day thing this is one of the reasons why uh, <coughs> what I'm gonna be working on when I'm off for the next two weeks this is my table, um, my hospital table, some transplants, my desert rose. Those are a couple of papaya plants that I think I'm going to sell because I don't really eat papaya, so what's the point? That eventually will be where my loofahs are going to go. <coughs> Let's see, I'm trying not to go too fast. This is my chair where I hang out, my fire pit. Um, let's see, this is my rose garden. The roses are in bloom. I built this myself. I got to get in there and do some more weeding and fertilizing, but they, they, uh, they are growing. Wow, look at, look at all these. This is, this one, this little one down here was a gift from a bunch of friends. Um, this is my baby. I got to get in here and trim off some stuff. Uh, let's see, this is my fiddlewood tree. That is my chiminera. Mm, hope I'm not going too fast and make anybody dizzy. Um, this is a bay rum. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of bay rum. This is a bay rum bush. It smells delicious. This is my lime quat. It's going to be growing limes. It's got thorns, so I'm not going to stick my hand in there. <coughs> Excuse me, see the limes? Right there, right there, line. That's my sweet potato patch right there. There are sweet potatoes in there, growing. This is my um, passion fruit, passion vine. I got a buttload of passion fruit on here. Um, it attracts butterflies and bees and all kinds of critters to the yard. Um, that's a little milkweed. It's another butterfly native to Florida. This is called a Dutchman's Pike. It grows these um, tubular things that I think insects get trapped inside. And this is my veggie garden. Okay, this is the strawberry patch where you see the screening because I have to try to keep the birds off my strawberries. I believe that's arugula right next to it and then right next to that are a couple of little wee mizunas. Right next to the mizuna this is peppers peppers that's some kind of okinawa spinach i believe is what that's called those are my carrots back there that are right next to the strawberries that right there is swiss chard this is some more mazuna this and this it's very yummy you you don't pull the whole plant you just cut off what you need and you may put it in a salad it's very yummy this is the tomato monster this thing is a beast, let me tell you. Over here are my lettuces. That's one and that's one. I just harvested some lettuce out of that patch. I think those are called Tom Thumb lettuce. Here go some more. Here go some more. Um, these and these are more peppers. 
I don't know if they're ghost peppers. I think I need to harvest that little red pepper, so I'll have to come back out later. And as I said, that's my beast of a tomato plant. It's like three different tomato plants in there. And uh, my friend who, who insisted on me planting tomatoes is going to have to come over here this weekend and, and handle that. And this is my carrot patch right here. I have a friend named Jonas. He would cut all the tops off the carrots and cook them. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Um, <clears throat> this is another. This was an experiment I made. Um, supposed to be growing peppers in there. But I'm not quite sure it's going to work. The plants aren't dead and I'm just not getting new growth. This is called a fiddlewood. The bees love this tree. I mean, absolutely freaking adore it. This, between this and my um, bottle brush, <sighs> phenomenal. And it's called a bottle brush because when it blooms, the red blooms look like the, the bottle brush that you would clean a bottle with. More frangy pangy. This is actually a elderberry plant that needs to go in the ground. And once I dig this monster up, I'll be able to stick it in the ground. And that is it. Like I said, my fire pit. My two chairs for when I want to chill out out here. And these are... Somebody gave me all these tomato plants, but what the hell am I going to do with all these tomato plants? And there is Dora. And there is Max back there scratching. You would never know he's got flea meds inside of him. I think I'm going to take him inside as soon as I'm done with this. And uh, <laughs> Max! Hi, Dora. And uh, give him a bath. So that's it. That's my yard. And these are my wind chimes. I got a whole bunch of them up in the tree. <laughs> All right. Peace, my loves.